All right, so today we're going to be making pizza and pasta. So this is exactly how I eat every day after I train for the last like eight months, I think. I've been eating this every night after training. Uh, I typically fast like 24 hours and I just train all day and then I get to eat whatever I want at night. This meal is about 7,000 calories. So I work really hard all day so I could eat what I want at night. I usually make my dough by hand, but uh, sometimes when I'm in a pinch, I go to Whole Foods and I get the dough there just because it's healthy. So I'm gonna go in here and this is all pizza things. If you look here, this is buffalo mozzarella. This is fresh mozzarella. So this is from cow, this is from buffalo. I like mixing in different cheeses when I make the pizza. So now we're gonna just get out two doughs from Whole Foods. What cheese you got in there? A lot of cheese. <laughs> I go through cheese really fast. So the pizza I'm gonna make for you guys tonight is going to be just a regular pizza with sauce and the multiple cheeses, okay? I eat usually two pizzas. I usually eat this one with the sauce and I eat a margarita pizza with just fresh tomato basil. There's my mom. Hi. Uh, the sauce is San Marzano tomatoes, a uh, little sugar, a little oregano, uh, some garlic. Uh, pretty much that's what we use for the sauce. It's like a standard pizza sauce. So now we have the King Arthur flour. Um, this is a very good flour. I won't um, get canceled for this from Italians. It's a good flour. Now, a lot of uh, people, when they make pizza, they use like a rolling pin. Um, I don't use a rolling pin anymore, I used to. But then a lot of Italian people got mad at me. Supposedly in Italy, they don't. So I started learning how to do it without a rolling pin. So we just turn the dough both ways with the flour on it, just so it doesn't stick. So we use our fingers first to just move it to the sides. And now, once I get here, I can start using my fists on both sides. And I go here. It's just obsessiveness. So your mind, like, you want to, like, make, like, the perfect obsessiveness when you're making the pizza. But I just, it's so much fun. It kind of works your forms, too, when you're, like, doing this with the dough. So then I could say that I'm preparing for the match, doing conditioning, working my forms for grips. No. So here, and now look, how I use my knuckles just makes it thinner. You see? Then we just slowly do this over and over without a rolling pin, since that's illegal. You get canceled using a rolling pin. Okay, so this is a pretty perfect size uh, for the pizza because this is the thing for the oven that we use. So this is around the size for the oven, you see? And I'll put flour on it so it doesn't stick. It's about to flow, like you're kind of subconscious just flowing through it, you know, like you're just not, you're just like zoning out. Like I just trained all day. So I'm just thinking about like training and like just excited about eating. Cause you, when you fast 24 hours, you're just like really excited about just eating. <laughs> the thing is, um, I've done so many diets, you know, and the secret to dieting is actually not dieting. It's just eating what you want and you're satisfied. If you're satisfied, then it's really easy to diet. The problem is when you're not satisfied, you always crave other foods. So I just eat what I love every day. And then you do a shake test. See how it's still moving? That means it can get stuck. Yeah, now it's good because it won't get stuck. I'm going to cut our cheeses and then we're going to get it. So basically the store, because they never have enough mozzarella, I have to order it separately from the store. And then they call me when they get it in and I sell them out every time. This is cow mozzarella. So I like to slice it very thin. And I cut the mozzarella. It just melts better on the pizza. Slice up the buffalo mozzarella. All my favorite pizza places, like in New York, um, they use buffalo mozzarella, like Lucali's and Defara. So I think it is very good for pizza. For me, what I've noticed about making pizza is it's the quality of the ingredients that you put on it and the uh, mixture of cheeses that makes it really good. Okay, so our cheeses are done. Our sauce is ready. So we're ready to make pizza. So now we're gonna put sauce in the middle of the pizza. And now we're gonna mix the sauce into the pizza. It's just San Marzano tomatoes, oregano, a little sugar, um, some garlic. Uh, that's pretty much the sauce. It's a very simple sauce, but this is like the standard sauce that pizza places use. I take the uh, Parmesan and the Romano and I mix it into the sauce. I think that's what makes this pizza taste way better. And now we take the cheese grater and we just grate the Romano into the pizza. And now what we do is we take the spoon and we mix in the cheese. And if you notice, this pizza has four cheeses on it different, right? Romano, Parmesan, 
buffalo mozzarella and fresh mozzarella. I developed it over the years, just like changing things to see like what I liked it in the pizza, right? And my favorite pizza in the world is at uh, Lucali's. And um, they made theirs from Defar, and they all put in multiple cheeses, you know? That's what makes the pizza taste so much better. I have a very small thing of olive oil. <laughs> now I'm mixing in the olive oil to the pizza. So Mikey has, um, what's the word? He, um, he approaches his cooking similar to his jiu-jitsu, which makes it have a good outcome. Since the coronavirus hit and we've all been home, he's been really mastering certain types of cooking. Like at one point he was making like a red sauce that was amazing and I'd always, you know, be the test dummy and I, I, I sacrificed myself. It was very difficult. I suffer all the time when he makes me eat his food. <laughs> I'm pretty lucky. I mean, he's a, a gourmet chef at this point. <laughs> I started cooking for my family when I used to diet really bad and I wasn't able to eat anything. The only thing that would make me feel better was seeing my parents and sisters smile from the food I was cooking. So then I started like enjoying cooking from that point. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is put on the fresh mozzarella in pieces around the pizza, you see? And as we do this, we're gonna put pieces of buffalo mozzarella right next to it. As you can see, we just mix in the different cheeses on the top and bottom. And this is what we have to do just for the pizza. The pizza's almost ready to go. Here we go. It goes in, it's gonna be really fast. So the oven is about on orange, so it's about 600 degrees. That's about New York uh, temperature for pizza. And we're gonna see the cheese start melting, which is like the funnest part watching it like start to melt. <laughs> Ooh, pizza's the best. <laughs> so as you see, it's starting to form on that side. So all we're gonna do is put this in here, and now all I'm going to do is pull it onto the thing. So as you see, the first side is pretty much done. And now all I'm gonna do is turn the pizza to the other side. And put on the pizza this side. But look how it's forming now on the other side. See how the bubbles form on the other side? Okay, so charcoal, it's ready to go. It's perfect. This is our pizza, you see it liquidy. And now we're gonna put it down. Now we're gonna add some more Romano and Parmesan. Just cause there's the best tasting cheeses. So we're gonna take out some basil leaves here. Now we just evenly distribute the basil for the pizza. I like a lot of basil, but I don't know how much people like, so I'll put like a decent amount. And now we have a pizza. Bon appetit. You got a try piece now. This is for you guys. You guys eat. Might be the first athlete that's ever cooked anything for me. Oh yeah. He's got the New York fold. The New York fold, the flop. <laughs> mm. Approved. I feel like I'm gonna look like a slob eating it right there, probably. <laughs> Very good. It's good. Yeah. No, oh, it's delicious. The cheese is a good flavor, right? Get in a restaurant. The dough tastes really good. It's a good dough, right? Like, I, I, I don't have any cheese left, and I'm eating it, and it's like, yeah. it's really good. I think you might be better at cooking pizza than you are at jujitsu. One of the oh best my pizzas God. I've had in my entire life. <laughs> That's and amazing. Andy, what score would you give it? Out of 10? I don't uh, wanna say 10 out of 10 because it seems like I'm kissing his ass. I mean, I was going to say 11 out of 10, nine, honestly. Nine, oh nine, my nine, God. So <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. No, this is amazing. This is really good that's pizza. That's awesome. Honestly, that's like pizza. That's the style of pizza you get when you go to like an expensive restaurant. So let's go with 9.4. <laughs> <laughs> One day I want to have a jiu-jitsu gym and a pizza shop right on the jiu-jitsu gym. But I don't want like a jiu-jitsu gym open to like everyone. Just like my friends, like invite only. And then a pizza place and a pasta place connected. That's my goal. It's gonna be, everyone's gonna be happy there for sure. Cause everyone's gonna be eating good food. <laughs> I don't know about the Jiu Jitsu, but everyone will love the pizza. This is my normal routine. I'm either training on the mats, like like eight, nine hours a day. And then I'll watch Jiu Jitsu on my laptop over there. And then at night to cool down, I'll cook pizza and pasta. <laughs>